Uh, this is Brandon Zachary with Common Club Resources. So, Ramon, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank and you. starting off, congratulations on the film. I got to see it uh, Wednesday, and like everybody else, was losing my mind. Don't you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, so, kind of starting off, because this is such a big, bombastic, lightning everywhere, demon fire, magic, mirror stuff everywhere, you, both of you actually, though, get to bring a lot of humanity, a very grounded perspective to it. What was that like getting to kind of play with, to keep these characters locked in to the real world of the DC universe, mm. while also, you know, fighting skeleton monsters sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, that's, you know, that's the thing, right? It's like, we are the civilians. We are the citizens of Kondok. And, you know, for us, we are the, we're pushing the story. We're driving it along. You know, it's like, I play a mother in the story and everyone sort of, you know, is familiar with the themes of, Mothers kind of are superheroes. You could do anything to protect your child. You could move a mountain or lift a car, you know? Um, and to just sort of, yeah, it's like we're the people. We're the, we're the ones that the audience can see, you know, their strife and their struggle is sort of reflected in us and what we're trying to accomplish. So yeah, I mean, the superheroes are glossy, but I'm pretty happy being, yeah. representing the, you know, the real people. The way it was described to me is that Sarah's a hero in the movie. You know, Adriana's a hero of the movie. And I'm his humanity, I'm Black Adam's humanity. And I took that to heart and it really put everything into scope for me was like essentially the heartbeat of the movie is Kondok, the Kondokians, mm. the people of Kondok, the, the oppressed peoples of the world and who have to go through this on a regular basis and the superheroes come in and get the glitz and the glamour of it all. But we are the ones that are getting our hands dirty. She, you know, Adriana brings Black Adam back to life to save Kondok. She is, you know, his, you know, becomes uh, the Black, Black Adam, Adam whisperer, whisperer, you know, yeah. where she brings him, brings him back and, and, and and, and realizing the error of his ways and trying to bring back the humanity of it all. So I really think that it's just a, a great role. You know, I love playing Kareem. So much fun to explore him and, and see what he can do and the fact that he's willing to put himself out there for his family and, and for his whole country and, and for the greater good. So uh, we loved it. We absolutely loved it. And I, and I look at us as superheroes. I look at that. You literally yeah. get to help save your country. Yeah. 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 That's the most superhero yeah. thing possible. Yeah. Yeah. That's some Captain America nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but something I love asking performers, kind of speaking to that humanity, what would you say surprised you the most? Kind of looking back when you first got these characters, when you first got off with the parts, I imagine you had an idea of what you were going to approach these characters like, and then that's got to be so different than what it ended up being, just because that's acting. Yeah. <laughs> like, right, right, like, right. What right. surprised you both about Adrian and Kareem the most? Um, you want to go? I mean, you know, I'm. let's see. What am I surprised the most about? I'm not, I'm not sure if anything necessarily surprised me per se, but you know, I just I when I saw the movie, sort of the like the overwhelming thought was, well, thank God it worked. You know, like <laughs> I could breathe a sigh of relief almost. And I don't know. I just kind of sit here and I'm just really proud. I'm proud to inhabit her and to represent her and everything that's going on in Iran right now. I'm Persian myself, so to be in this position and to speak and to stand up and you know, it just means. It means a lot. For me, for me, it was you know something that you can't understand until you get there, <clears throat> and the character keeps growing. I guess his um, what's the word I'm looking for? His courage mm. uh, it surprised me. I thought it was just initially when I first come into this because you know you only get so much of the script as you as you're moving forward in filming and and understanding him and how much he really will lay it all out for his family when. It was initially described to me as someone who was just the comedy relief back there. He's the uncle, is this, is that. And then realizing like, oh, he's way more than this. He's way mm -hmm. more sophisticated and layered than this. And, yeah. and his uh, his and comedy, yeah. his comedy, his his job is, is a way of like his sense of normalcy and kind of avoiding what his true destiny is. And that's to become a guardian like his sister and, and, and accomplish what Kondok needs. Fantastic. And then I think I'm going to, I have enough time to maybe slip one. Slip one. Yeah, yes. go for it. If there's any other, like the DC universe is so massive. It's so, no, there's so many different pieces and corners and characters of it. Is there any particular corner or any particular character that you would love to see Kareem and Sarah, Adriana run into? Who do we want to run into? I mean, I yeah, love Batman, yeah. Superman. It's all the, that's like the standard. I guess you can go there, but I want to see them explore ISIS. I want to see them explore Osiris, and that's something that I'm really, really excited about. If that's where it ends up going, you know, since that's the brother and sister <laughs> of the whole thing. But I would love to see that being explored, and and what that, you know, what would it take to perform something like that? 
Fantastic. Well, thank you both so much. Thank this is so, so fantastic. Much. And again, congratulations on the film. You were both fantastic. Oh, my pleasure. Thank my you so pleasure. much. Thank and you. I look forward to you narrating many documentaries. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're a great I, voice. I,